Alright, cheers, Internet. If you'll allow me, I'd like to tell you a story of that time just a few days ago when I was accused of violating the laws of time and space in order to commit copyright infringement and had a video summarily monetized by someone else. Once upon a time, Saturday morning, I woke up to an email notice of a copyright claim. Now, this happens a fair amount, but it's always frustrating when it does because it marks the beginning of a two-month-long dispute and appeals dance. Uh, this particular claim was on an older video. Uh, this one, in fact, about whiskey and the card game Flux. And the claim itself was an audio claim on the background track of that video. But that confused me because, even in the early days of this channel, we were very mindful of the intellectual property rights of others and made sure that we used music from SoundCloud that was released under a Creative Commons license, which allowed for commercial use. And in this particular video, we used the smooth jazz track by Drops and Cuts, and definitely not this song by German trumpet player Jackie T. Now this is always a fun situation to be in because YouTube has no way to simply say that Content ID got it wrong, and the content isn't what it says it is. It's almost as if they refuse to acknowledge the glaring flaws in their system. So I decided that I was going to file a dispute using the option that I have the license to use this content because, uh, technically, I have the license to use the content that I actually used, and explain that it's not what Content ID thinks it is. But then as I was digging into things, I noticed something kind of peculiar. Now you look really closely at the release dates of the video on my channel and Jackie T's album. So what a mini records is alleging, basically, is that I took a recording of a song, then went back in time, over a year into the past, and put that song in a YouTube video to infringe on the copyright of something that didn't even exist at the time. Now can we reflect, just for a moment, on how absolutely bizarre that situation is. Now, I fully understand that you can't just look at the dates because maybe someone was late to the party and the content was used before they got to add it to the database, but we're still talking about something that would spring out as obviously wrong as soon as an actual living person put eyes on it. Now, lack of oversight is astounding to me. Now, I have no idea how this is actually going to resolve, but experience tells me that I wouldn't lose money if I bet that in 30 days I'll need to file an appeal, which will sit for 30 more days before being released. Now, you might have noticed that the songs actually do sound very similar, but they are not the same song. Uh, partly because of the laws of causality and space-time continuum itself, but also because both songs are actually based on a 2006 recording by Digby Jones. Now, Drops and Cuts remix the track while Jackie T just soloed over it, so we have two different derivative works based on the same root song, and one is claiming that it has legal rights over the other. This is like saying that Robocop owes royalties to the Matrix because both Neo and Alex Murphy are based on Jesus. 